Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here. Once again, hopefully you're having a wonderful start to 2017 and I'm back again with another video on The Flash Season 3. And today we're going to be going over some pretty cool stuff involving a couple of episodes early on into the back half of Season 3 of The Flash. Last year in 2016, I'm going to have to get used to saying that anyway, but uh, yeah, last year at a gathering for TV producers and executives, I'm not 100% sure if it was the TCAs, if you know what that is. It might have been, but it could have been something else as well, I don't know. Anyway, the people behind The Flash did reveal that we would be getting a two-part or two-episode story this season involving Gorilla Grodd and Gorilla City as well. And they also talked about The Flash Supergirl crossover as well, but that's for another day. This was also news as with the introduction of Gorilla City, which we did get a little tease of last season, we will get more gorillas joining the party. And as the old saying goes, the more gorillas, the better. I know there is some confusion over where Gorilla City is in regards to an Earth in the multiverse. And this is due to the fact that we saw that H.R. Wells mentions that Grodd is on Earth-19. But then last season, all the breaches believed to be like connected to only Earth-2. It's hard to tell at this time, but we will find out soon enough in this episode, you would think. We got more hype lead up to this Gorilla Grodd two-parter story when the guy who does the voice acting for Gorilla Grodd, who is called David Sobolov or Sobolov, not sure how you pronounce it, he actually tweeted this out. Even though this doesn't reveal anything new, unless you had absolutely no clue that Grodd was coming back this season at all, what it is most likely hinting at is that David, the voice actor, has most likely finished doing his recordings for the two episodes. We obviously don't know how much recording he has done due to us not knowing how much the people on The Flash want to spend. As we should all know by now, Grodd isn't cheap to do, especially when you add in Gorilla City and most likely a few more talking gorillas, it all adds up. So yeah, he might have done a lot, he might have done some small amount, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. In regards to that last thing I just said about a few more talking gorillas, it's something that we should expect. It might only be one more who is like Grodd's right hand man or right hand gorilla, or we might get three or four or even 15 more talking gorillas. As I said, it depends on what the showrunners want to do obviously and how much they want to spend. Now, Gorilla Grodd and Gorilla City aren't the only cool things coming up in these episodes. We are also getting the return of a few characters and the introduction to a few more. Firstly, we will be getting Jesse Quick back on the show, which is awesome, and she will be obviously teaming up with Barry, Wally, the two other speedsters, as well as Vibe or Cisco. This team up would be awesome on its own. Like, really, if that happened on screen, I'd be like, just bury me, I'm fine, just, I'm fine right now. But no, oh no, we are getting more, my friends. That's right, we are also going to be getting introduced to a new DC superhero or hero in the Arrowverse, and that is Gypsy. Now, she was a member of one of like the Justice League like subdivisions, if you want to call them that, in the comics. I'm not extremely familiar with the character, but I do know she is a decent fighter. She has like a form of invisibility involving camouflage or something like that. Once again, not too familiar with it. And another very important power, which could be very, very relevant within this two-part of story, depending on if she's in both episodes, and that is telepathy. Now, telepathy, as we all should know, is one of Grodd's main abilities, and it's really the one that we've seen him use the most in the two episodes that we've seen him in uh, seasons one and two. Wait, was he in two episodes in season one? Anyway, the episodes that we've seen him in the first two seasons, at least. Now, whatever Earth Gypsy is from will most likely be where Grodd and Gorilla City is from, just because I don't think they would introduce another Earth-1 hero. You know, it'd be better if they just broadened the multiverse, like introduce more characters from different Earths. Just because if she was from the same Earth as Grodd and Gorilla City, it would make more sense as to why she knows where to go and why she's on Earth-1 at this point. Obviously, she could be from Earth-1, but as I said, it just makes more sense if they introduce another character from another Earth from the multiverse. With Jesse Quick being on Earth-1, this could hint at Earth-2 being the home to them all, including Gypsy. But then again, she may have just been brought over to help, or she might have just been over on Earth-1 at the right time. Like, she came over to Earth-1, hung out for a bit, and all of a sudden, the gorillas start coming over. Which uh, is either a really good thing or a really bad thing, but at least she's there to help. There actually is one more character who will be in this two-parter. Well, at least one episode of it. And that is if you are a regular to the channel, you would know this is the Accelerated Man or the Flash from Earth-19. Now, I have done a completely separate video all on that, which will be linked in the description below if you do want to go check that out. But essentially, he is the speed star from H.R. Wells' Earth. It is unclear whether he will be coming to Earth-1 to help 
or he will be a part of a scene from Earth-19, or possibly even like a flashback involving Savitar. It is important to note that Savitar will still be a part of these uh, two episodes as well, or at least one of them, pretty heavily, I think. From what I have heard, Savitar and Grodd are meant to have like a confrontation of sorts. This could be a fight, or this could be like Savitar, or I might I say Grodd is working for Savitar in some way, or maybe Savitar opens up uh, the the gorillas if one like opens up the opportunity for the gorillas to come to Earth One and for Grodd to get revenge. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. It is going to be interesting to see how the gorillas do get from wherever they are to Earth One without some sort of like metahuman helping them. But regardless, these two episodes are gonna have a lot of CGI. It would have cost a lot to make. So I am very, very much excited for these two episodes. One quick thing to bring up before we end the video, The Flash along with all the other CWDC shows do go back to filming in the next day or two, possibly even three days. I'm 99% sure Flash has only filmed one episode of this two part Grodd storyline. So when they return, they will be filming the second episode of that. So we could get more info on this two-parter story in the next few days, if that is the case, when they do come back to filming, depending on what they're filming and if they're filming in public and stuff like that. The only reason that we know Gypsy was coming onto the show and that Jesse Quick was coming back and that Cisco was going to be there as Vibe is because they filmed in public and people saw them filming. And like, you know, CW felt, okay, well, everyone's seen Gypsy, let's just announce who the actress is and that she's officially coming to the show. But thanks for watching guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video, if you did it would be very, very much appreciated. If you could leave a like on it, let me know in the comment section below, are you excited to see Gorilla Grodd back? Do you think he's from Earth 2, Earth 19, or for some reason some other random Earth in the multiverse? Just leave all your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe, I'll catch you later guys, goodbye.